It came out in a family conversation one day that our grandfather had a brother who served and was killed in active service during the First World War. After some research into family archives and questions asked of relatives, we soon had enough information to start a search online. We started with the Commonwealth War Graves Commission website. I planned the route and set off over the channel and across northern France. Many of the hundreds of gravestones here are simply marked a soldier of the Great War. The names of those killed in the battles around this area are written on the walls surrounding the cemetery and some of the unknown graves have even been identified over the years. I've driven from Calais down the A26 and the A1 and I'm here at Pozières British Cemetery, about an hour's drive. Bapalme is that way and along this road there are a couple of points where indicated are the original front lines from 1916 and 17. Uh, that way is Albert where I hope to find the grave of my uncle, my great uncle Arthur. Grove Town was established in September 1916 as a casualty clearing station just west of the front line, dealing with casualties from the Somme battlefields. So named by the British, it was known locally as La demi lieue or the Half Mile. It's hard to imagine this area, knee-deep in mud, pitted by shell craters, populated by thousands of soldiers, nurses and support personnel, with a constant sound of battle around you. This really is in the middle of nowhere. All I can see is trees and fields surrounding the cemetery and all I can hear is birds and crickets. 1,392 graves. Fortunately, there's a register. This is Rifleman Pleasance, my great uncle Arthur, my mother's father's brother. All we know is that he died on the 25th of November 1916 of his wounds. On hearing of his death, Horace, his brother, my granddad, decided straight away to sign up. He was uh, refused, and uh, the reason was because he was only 16 at the time. So otherwise, I may not even be here now. The websites we use to find the cemetery and grave location, as well as further information, are detailed at the end of this video.